All right, those that are listening and tuning in and watching from all over the place, hopefully you already have your ticket to the conference. If not, I think today's talk might just might just put you over the edge a little bit. ABC Vice President of Travel is joining me for this conversation. And before we dive in a little bit to her to her conversation and her presentation, Nicole, why don't you share a little bit about what is ABC VP of Travel and why is it intricate? And what are the big benefits of being a member of ABC? ABC has always had a travel program, but it is even bigger and better in 2024. One of your best investments into becoming an ABC member is you have the ability to book travel. Now, let me ask you, if you're already a wedding pro and you have access to those clients, if you could offer them, say, a honeymoon, would you? and that honeymoon could earn you $300 in commission just from offering it, would you do it? And how many times could you 100%. do that? 100%. Yeah, it, exactly. would, it would speak for itself in one time. And destination weddings, um, don't even get me started. You want to start adding to your bottom line? Immediately adding tens of thousands of dollars to your bottom line. How does that sound? I think that is something that people don't realize in a world I was talking earlier with our other speaker that – you know, I've been around for 42 years. At 62 years, the uh, additional income or make sure you have other income streams. When I when I had my business, it was like I was a photographer. So I did headshots. I, Monday through Thursday, we did things to keep the studio open. Now, the opportunity to have this travel and booking rooms and booking hotel, booking baby, whatever kind of travel we want to offer our client is an additional revenue stream that I don't think many people realize is a benefit of ABC. And the fact that there's a VP of it and there's a human behind it, I think is a huge bonus and should be far less scary than just checking a box going, sure, I'll do that. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm here to help. I'm here to walk you through it. You know, um, we were just discussing um, a minute ago the kind of chaos that travel can bring. And yep. I like to say to our members, with great power comes great responsibility. So travel is a very intricate thing. There are some liabilities along with, you know, a lot of training that you should have to offer travel, but the payoff is extraordinary. And that's why I'm here as the VP to walk you through it. And again, the fact that I have somebody that can help me where I have a question, you don't get that in other organizations. You don't get that in other memberships. And if you're really interested in, in diving in, and helping your business grow and also just also helping yourself grow a little bit and immersing yourself in new experiences so that you can bring those experiences and have a firsthand account of, well, this is what this resort looks like. So if you really want to have a wedding there, I've been there. And now, oh my gosh, brainstorming, I have an idea. I've seen it firsthand. You know, some, some couples go off somewhere on a little trip and come back and go, well, I would like to get married here. And then you now have the ability as an ABC member to go, well, I'll go check that out. Let me go see what we can do there. Or I've been there and I know exactly what you have. I think it just brings a whole other level of excitement. Uh, it helps break down that burnout. And I think it will drive you to really strive for a different level in your business. And, and that, I'm talking about levels of business. That's what the WOW, the WOW conference is. That's part of ABC. Explain a little bit about why you're so thrilled to be a speaker. I mean, I know you're very active. We know you're the VP. But now put on your speaker hat. Why was it important that you brought the message of organizing your destination business? Why was it a topic you felt we needed, Nicole, in 2024? Yeah, well, I'll tell you a little bit about this topic and why it's so important to me to share. A few years ago, um, as a just kind of regular ABC member, I would have been excited just to attend a session like this mm -hmm. and learn about booking travel. And it has become so much of my life. And I truly believe that travel and destination weddings are the number one way to scale your business and ch honestly change your life. Um, in my experience, mm -hmm. selling travel, booking destination weddings, it not only helped me survive, my business survive the pandemic, but it bumped me tax brackets with an S. And <laughs> there's anything that you can do for your business, and it's it's not just wedding planners, it's all wedding professionals. Right. Romance travel can add to your bottom line in so many ways. It'll scale up your business, and that's what I want to help other ABC members do, is we're not here, you know, um, 
just to be kind of a, an organization, um, just to be an organization. We're here, we're here to make our members' right. lives better and their livelihoods um, more robust. And that's good. And it's about building a career. It's not about just having a side job. And for those of you that might still be working nine to five somewhere else, please hurry up and join us working 247 365 because, you know, and you work all you, around the clock. But if you do have that side business and you are wanting to come into this industry, whether it's events or weddings or the combo, having a division like travel as part of that can really help you maybe enter the game at a different level and maybe have you a starting point. And I think the cool too, it's like, it will take your business in a different level because if you're already somebody who loves to travel and you already are planning weddings, that's part of your presentation. It's bridging those and marrying those together. But I do want you to take a moment and, and, and do the disclaimer that when you're working a wedding, it is not a vacation. I think some wedding pros forget that. So Give us your, your your give us your remark on that and be firm and be honest as I know you will. But it's you're still working for your client. You're not on vacation when you're doing that. It can happen later, but not at the same time. Exactly. And um, I've talked to a lot of uh, my colleagues who are some of the number one um, travel agency owners in the world. And even they, you know, um, they've come from the travel background where a lot of our members are coming from the wedding professional background and moving into travel. And they forget too, it, you know, when you show up and you're doing a destination wedding and you're there, you're there to be the resource for your client. And if your client needs something and you're hanging out in the jacuzzi or you're seven Bob Marley's deep at Sandals, you know, yep. it's, it's a yep. reflection on what you're doing for them. Now, when I go, um, I set a lot of very clear boundaries that I always like to tell other travel advisors is when I go, I don't go on points. I don't go, you know, I don't pay for a trip of my, um, you know, from the kindness of my heart. The client is paying for my right. trip. They're applying my, they're paying my planning fee. They're paying my travel fee. They're paying my flight and they're paying my room for the minimum amount of nights that I have to be there. If I add on nights, great. If I add on nights, that's my vacation. But they are paying me to be there and they're paying me well and I'm enforcing that. So I've set that boundary. On these days, I'm here for you. I'm coming two days early. Um, I'm off the clock right off the wedding. And if I stay, you know, I'm very happy to see you. Drinks on me. You know, like it's all inclusive. Right, so exactly. drinks are free. But, uh, <laughs> you know, yeah, you can you can be more casual outside of those boundaries. If, if we're part of the travel program at ABC and we're a photographer and we want to break in to this industry, like, okay, I really want to have some standard resorts as my, in my portfolio, but as we've learned, you got to sometimes show what you want to do to get people. Is that something you recommend as a member of ABC? One of the perks is that I can book my travel, go there, set up a style shoot. And do you think that's something that we should do? Do you recommend that? Or is there another way you think we'd go about breaking into this destination market by being a member of ABC? Yeah, that's great. I think what you're talking about is um, something like a self-guided fam or booking your own travel at a travel advisor rate, which are definitely both perks of booking travel. Mm -hmm. Now the styled shoot, you would need approval, you know, like just like any other styled shoot in the States. Um, to do something like that at the resort, but it is absolutely encouraged. And we, you know, um, when you use your travel benefit from ABC to have access to a travel advisor rate and go on property, you are encouraged to take as many, um, as many photos, videos, room right. tours, get as much content as you can and market yourself. Even with other properties outside of Sandals, uh, you know, I'm a Sandals girl, um, they're kind of like my bread and butter, even other properties, set up meetings, you know, set up site inspections. If you're in the area, just say, hey, I'm going to stop by. Can I grab some uh, photos and a room tour? Like you mentioned before, all that experience of I've been there before. I know that this pool is really loud. I know that this part of the beach is in full shade at that time of day. It's absolutely uh -huh. invaluable to clients. And that's something that only you can provide that someone who hasn't been there or is maybe just booking on price, they can't do that. I love that because as a photographer, it's those little things that you get asked right away, like, well, what's the best side of the beach? And if you haven't been there, you either have to Google it, start asking someone at the resort, or then you, gosh forbid, look at some other photos that you really don't know if they were taken that way, have they been edited? 
So I, I love the fact that that is such a, a, a perk and a benefit. It's one of the many that ABCs um, offer. And the colleague and the networking, you've been a part of this for a while. I, I follow you. I watch you from Amsterdam to all your different travels. And I, I kind of want you to talk a little bit about when we're talking about organizing your destination biz, what exactly does that mean? How do we want to organize it? And should we be organized? And why, again, is that something that you feel you're confident in bringing? But organize, organization in any business or in our life is, is vital. So this topic, I think, is going to really open the eyes for a lot of attendees. But why that organization? Why is it so important? Yeah. Well, if anyone has done destination weddings, the term that was described to me from one of my great friends who's the group's director for Sandals, Mark Shea, he introduced me to the term baptized in fire. And that really <laughs> is how destinations, when you're just starting out, that's really how it feels. Every contract is different. Every supplier is different. Every deadline for every payment is different. It's hard to keep track of. Now, if you're just doing like a honeymoon, okay, that's great. You can like set an alarm. The final payment is due this day. Um, I have to tell the client about the entry requirements on this day. I'm checking the entry requirements to advise them of that. Now, that was one booking. Destination weddings, I think the largest one that I've had recently was 200 separate bookings. Now, doing that on a wow. scale of 200 bookings requires a lot more organization. And I like to call it optimization. If you're already doing destination weddings, you know how much time that can take. You have to send out invoices. You have to have a really robust workflow. Um, you have to, you still have to, you know, even though it's a destination wedding, you still have to market to your um, potential guest list to book their rooms and then what rooms they need to book. And in some cases, there's a, you know, a hundred rooms, there could be 30 different room types. So all the pricing's different. And that's part right. of why I feel like it's so necessary for me to share this topic is through my experience, I have found a lot of tools, um, a lot of apps, a lot of um, hacks on how to do things, a lot of automation and how to make that process a lot easier so that you're not spending 10 hours doing something. It's automated. You've put in the time, you've done it once and you just execute it and it can be done in seconds. A lot of partnerships also start that way. You know, we, um, ABC, they offer a benefit with Travel Industry Solutions that um, offers kind of pre-written legal documents, terms and conditions, a way to securely get payment information from your client to provide that to the supplier. And by networking with them, we've been able as ABC to partner with them and get a discounted rate for those services for our members. And that service saves you hours and hours if you had to do that one by one. Well, and that's the thing that we want to do. We want to have more time. You know, we want to work, you know, we, we want to work on our business, but we don't want to have a business where we can't wait to get a vacation from. We want to have a business where we have a purpose. And we know we are serving. And this is a big service and emotional industry. And I just think that the tools that are there for you, regardless if you want to do destination weddings or not, the other tools that are offered with ABC and some of the other perks and benefits. But for this one here, there's a lot to learn. And you can quickly get overwhelmed. And I know in being in this industry 42 years again, everybody wants to be in destination because I was, I was pretty much a destination photographer. But my destinations also were all across the United States. I worked in different states as well as out of the country. And people always said to me, well, oh my gosh, it has to be so fun. There's just so much that goes into it. And the things you just listed are easily could be discouraged, right? If I don't know how to do this or I mess up, you want to you want to take that lessons that you can learn from so that you can be the best version of yourself, provide that service that they're paying you to do and still come away with beautiful, beautiful images. You okay. kind of hit the nail right on the head in that you want to be the best you can. And what all these tools do is if you're stuck struggling just to like to get everything situated, just to execute your services, that's one thing. Now, what these tools and optimizing your wedding destination wedding business does, it gives you the room to be great 
you can step up your yes. own personal services. So for example, you know, if you have all your time focused just on getting all these travel bookings right, and you're also the coordinator, it takes a lot of time mm -hmm. being the best coordinator you can be. And I love that, you know, um, optimizing my business has allowed me the space to really level up in other areas of my business. You know, I can, I can go and surprise the client with something because I've given myself yes. the free time to be able to elevate that level of service. And those are the things that your clients are going to talk about. When we say go above and beyond, it's like, oh my gosh. And I had a, and I had a planner, I had a coordinator who knew the property left and right and, and saved us money because we would have just went check, 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 sure, sure, sure. And our planner, Nicole, knew that we could better use our funds and our money to get those bonuses. So I want to go back to your sandals girl comment. This is, I'll put you in the hot seat a little bit. Should as a destination planner, as a destination planner, should we be the be all end all to all the resorts? Or in your professional opinion, should you pick one or two and just blow it out of the water? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm a little biased. Like you said, I'm a sandals girl. And part of that reason is because Sandals and Beaches, which has been one of ABC's longest standing partners and one of the biggest players in the destination wedding industry overall, one of the biggest reasons why I go to Sandals kind of, I would say maybe first or always try to recommend that is they do so much for us planners um, and us travel advisors. They really do take care of us. And like I mentioned before, through the pandemic, they took care of me and they took care of me by offering resources and training and free fam trips during that time where people couldn't really go to the resort. And because of that, I was able to become ABC's first Chairman Royal Club member from Sandals. And, you know, I thought that was kind of like the cream of the crop. Man, I've hit it big. Yeah to my first CRC retreat and I felt like a baby compared to everyone else. <laughs> you know, and right. to hit to hit Chairman's Royal Club, you have to hit 100 bookings a year no matter what. I met people who do 500 bookings without even, you know, breaking a sweat. Breaking an eye. Yeah, yeah, so it's, you know, um so to be able to network and collaborate with those people and you know, those people um, saw me as an ABC member coming from the wedding side, they maybe didn't do as many weddings. So they have told me that they've been inspired by how I do weddings and we've helped each other. So that's kind of um, why in my heart, I love sandals. That being said, I do book things other than sandals. It's knowing your client and knowing what they need. For example, sandals is a luxury product and it's a luxury all-inclusive. Now you might have clients that they have a lot of guests that aren't gonna be in that budget bracket. So I sell a lot of other things. I sell a lot of Mexico. Um, even then I branch out and I sell trips to Europe, trips to Japan, you know, um, Antarctica cruises, things like that. But I gained the experience in a few properties first. And once I gained that, I was able to then transition and book other things. So it's a little bit of a mix of both. And I know a lot of ABC uh -huh. members, they they are really adamant on, I need to know this product inside and out. And that shows their level of commitment. So they start with one or maybe two, and then they branch out. It's really a personal decision for you on how you run your business. Are you the type of person who um, is really good at reaching out to those suppliers and the representatives and making good relationships so that you could potentially sell something you've never seen before? Or do you prefer to know something like the back of your hand? And a few of our members, I can ask them, hey, what time does the dive shop open at this resort? And they can tell me <laughs> seconds. They have that level of expertise. Yeah. Well, there might be a property too, I think by, by on the other side of that coin that you might get there and think it's beautiful, but it just doesn't vibe with your personality. And you probably won't attract the client or you're not looking for that, as we like to say in the industry, right fit client for those that are looking at the video, um, but right fit client. So maybe we like, okay, beautiful, but yeah, the vibe's not me. So maybe I just say, okay, been here, done that. There's other properties I want to go with because then 
I'll exceed and I'll excel and I'll bring my best experience and knowledge to my clients. So I, I do agree 100% that it's very personal, but I think it's worth exploring. So as we wrap up, for somebody who works as a role as a VP and is very active in ABC, if you're on the fence about coming, and this is not a sales pitch, this is just a suggestion from two people who are actively involved. If you're on the fence about coming to ABC, what tips can you give? And not, not an assurance, Nicole, but just that passion and enthusiasm. You've heard Nicole share her passion today, but why, why do you think people should get off the fence and just come to St. Louis and be around these 18 educators, not to mention all the networking, and you're gonna get some haha moments there, but why should they go ahead and get their ticket? Yeah, it's the access to the brain trust, as I like to call it. There you go. The one thing that I love about ABC is that you've seen these people on TV, in magazines, you've heard about how great they, they are in your local uh, areas and regions, and they're there. And ABC is the only association that I know that isn't like competitive. If you go and ask the number one seller of something, how did you do that? They'll be like, oh, one, two, three, four, five. This is how I did it. Yeah. Go do it. And I think that what's unique about this conference is the access to those people who actually want the whole industry to elevate. There's no competition. It's truly a brain trust. And I think the other thing that I really saw in Puerto Rico was three and yet three years and less sitting with people that have 20 and 30 years experience and the 20 and 30 year experience people were going, Oh my God, I didn't know that. Oh my God. I learned that. Oh, that's a tip. And the first, you know, younger generation or newbies are coming in going, well, I've been doing that for the last six months. So this newbie just taught this senior, a few things. And I think the fact that it's interaction, don't sit at the same table. And like you said, there are a lot of people in this conference that are making a lot of money and profit is important. But as I always say, if you're doing what you love, you should bring profit, purpose, and joy. You're going to meet people here, men and women from all ages, from all different parts of the world and the country that are doing what you aspire to do. Don't be like them, but have the aspiration and they're willing to share their knowledge. And Nicole, you're available. You're going to be able to be there and help talk to people. You're going to have to do other roles other than your presentation. So make sure you're following Nicole. Make sure you already have her. You love her photos anyway. She should just, that's a whole nother career she should go after. But reach out with some questions. If you need to set up a time with Nicole, DM her. And she will try her best to work in a time to talk to you. But if you are really, really sincerely interested, and I'm going to say this, not go on vacation, but want to elevate your business and grow, make sure you find some time to talk to Nicole at the conference. So I thank you, my friend. I'm so excited to see you in St. Louis. I can't wait to uh, watch everybody just, just ooze off your enthusiasm and your knowledge for travel and how that travel can be profitable and purposeful. So thank you for your time, my friend. Anytime. Thank you so much. I'll see you in St. Louis. All right. Bye-bye.